Welcome back to another adventure. If you're new here, my name is Zoe Daphne and I love to explore the world one song at a time with my best friend, Cello Z. Today I am so excited because we're going on an adventure to find a lost shipwreck. I think it would be so cool to play pirate music in such a unique location. I saw this picture a couple years ago on Instagram and I knew immediately I had to check this out. The only problem is it's all the way in Northern California, which I don't visit very often. So I put it on my giant travel bucket list and that's where it's been sitting for a couple years. The shipwreck is located near Point Reyes National Seashore, which is a protected coastline full of trails and beaches. But first, we are driving through San Francisco, which if you haven't been here before, you absolutely must stop for at least a day, if not just an afternoon. This city is amazing to explore, and I personally think it's one of the most interesting in California. We won't be stopping here today, but we will be driving by two famous landmarks, the Golden Gate Bridge and the Robin Williams Tunnel. So fun fact about the Golden Gate Bridge, it was actually not supposed to be the iconic red color that it is today. It was originally supposed to be striped blue and yellow to draw attention, make sure people didn't crash into it. But when they started painting it, the primer color was red, and then they realized that the red color is a lot better at catching attention. And so that is why the Golden Gate Bridge is red and not striped blue and yellow like it was originally supposed to be. If you like little fun facts like this, check out the link in the description to follow my Instagram where I post daily travel videos. Oh my god, there it is! If you happen to drive through the Golden Gate Bridge on a foggy day like we did, don't be disappointed. This is actually a good thing. The fog here in San Francisco is infamous. It even has a name, Carl the Fog, and a Twitter account, at Carl the Fog. Oh, there's the tunnel! Oh my god, it's so cute! That tunnel was actually built at the same time as the Golden Gate Bridge and was later renamed to the Robin Williams Tunnel in memoriam and in honor of him because he actually lived here in San Francisco for quite a long time. So I, I just love that little memorial. I think it's so sweet to honor his legacy that way. And we are finally on our way to the shipwreck. I love seeing the scenery change from a city to a rural highway and these adorable small towns. Okay, so we're trying to find the entrance right now. One article I read said that this general store um, like you could park behind it and then have access to it. So we're gonna check in the back and see. Uh, wait, there's a sign that says like this way to the beach. I'm assuming it's... Can we go this way? Uh, which way? Okay, we'll go this way. Okay, so we checked again and there's an article that says that if you park behind the store, there's like a dirt road that leads there. So we're gonna ignore the sign that says that the beach is that way and just try going behind the store. So, there's this dirt trail. Oh my god, there it is. Ooh, the cello's coming out. It's time to make my pirate dreams come true. I had so much fun playing here. This ship is so cool, but it's not only unique aesthetically, it also has a pretty interesting history. 
We know this ship as the Iverness Shipwreck, named after the town that's nearby, but it is actually called the SS Point Reyes. So even though this looks really eerie, this ship is actually more debris than a shipwreck. So this fishing boat was actually put here by the owner who intended to fix it up, but like most projects, it never actually got done. And now it is technically debris and it was in danger of being removed. It was actually photographers that saved this piece from being removed because they flocked to this area to get cool shots and as a result it has become somewhat of a tourist destination. If you're near Northern California or you're heading up the coast sometime, this spot is a must see. It was totally worth the detour. I have never seen anything like this, and I'm not sure where else you could either. It's got such a creepy, cool, piratey vibe, and I loved exploring all the little details, especially these engravings on the side of the boat. And of course, I enjoyed playing pirates. Okay, so we're walking by this restaurant, and it smells so good. Too tempting to pass up. This is Vladimir's. It's located in the small town of Iverness and is right across the street from the shipwreck. Every meal starts out with some warm, delicious bread. I mean, look at that fluffy texture. Then we opted for the glazed duck with pickled cabbage, mashed potatoes, and a pickle. I haven't had duck in a really long time. The meat is so tender. This is so good. And of course, we had to try out what we were smelling outside, this delicious apple strudel. This place was really delicious, but I will warn you, since we shared a plate, they did add on a shared plate fee, which we weren't expecting, but otherwise this was an amazing experience. Thank you so much for coming on this adventure with me. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe because it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. We are just getting started on our seven day California road trip. So make sure to watch the next video because we are headed to the Lost Coast and the Redwoods. I'll see you in the next video.